back to my channel it's Sarah, and i'm back with another self-care routine this is a more tropical vibe and i also have some new products that i'm using today that i can't wait to talk about so let's just get right into it first i'm using the way saint bart's scalp and body scrub but i am only using this on my body this has notes of dragon fruit orange blossom tuberose musk amber vanilla so it's like super fruity and sweet very tropical and i absolutely love the way this makes my skin feel it is a sugar scrub but it has coconut oil in it so it kind of gets a little bit lotiony and my skin feels so super moisturized after i use this i've also never heard of a scalp scrub i've never used this in my hair i've only used it on my body so far but if y'all have tried the way scrubs let me know how they work in your hair because i am really interested in that but i'm just using this first to exfoliate my skin before i shave exfoliating helps to get off all that dead skin make sure you don't get any ingrowns and it also just moisturizes it a little bit more To go along with my tropical theme, I'm using the Tree Hut Tropic Glow Moisturizing Shave Oil. I absolutely love their shave oils. This one has more of a sweet vanilla caramel sort of scent. It's very summery. It reminds me a lot of the Sol de Janeiro Bum Bum Cream. And I'm just applying this all over my body or wherever I want to shave. Since it is getting hotter outside, I am wearing more tank tops and shirts, which means my arms are going to be out and I want my arms to look smooth. And as always, I'm using a Joy Razor. These are five blade razors and I get them from Target, but I'm sure you can get them at Walmart also. To wash off all of that shave oil, I'm using my body wash. This is the OGX Hydration Sea Kelp and Hyaluronic Acid Wash. This body wash doesn't have a smell that I can really describe other than Ocean Fresh. If you were to smell an Ocean Fresh body spray on Bath & Body Works, it would probably smell like this.
After that, I am doing my skincare routine. I use the First Aid Beauty Pure Skin Cleanser on my Foreo Lunar 3. And I love using my Foreo Lunar 3 because I feel like my skin gets cleaner this way. And it has a timer that goes off after 60 seconds and the device stops. So it's really convenient and it always makes sure that I wash my face for at least a minute. Then I'm trying out another new product. This is the Polish Choice Exfoliant. And it came with these reusable cotton pads. It's so cute. I really liked using this. It almost felt a little bit moisturizing and it didn't make my skin burn or anything. Then while that dries, I'm using some lip balm. This is the Lana Lips Strawberry Lip Balm. Super thick, it's almost like a lip mask. Then I'm using my tried and true Snail Mucin from COSRX. This is the best product ever. Gives me the most glowing, healthy looking skin. I'm obsessed, I'll leave the link down below. Once that's all rubbed in, I'm using my eye cream. This is the Summer Fridays Light Aura Eye Cream. I have been going crazy with this product recently because I feel like I'm getting crow's feet, so I'm slathering on extra. This has vitamin C to help brighten, as well as some firming agents in there, and it feels so great under my eyes. It's very thick, but it's not heavy, but it definitely feels like it's doing something whenever I put it on. Then I'm using the Versed Dark Spot Gel on my dark spots. And this is my first time using this product. I've been using it for a couple of days now since this video. And then after that, I'm applying moisturizer. This is the First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Cream. You can also use this on your body, but I only use it on my face. It has oatmeal in there and it soothes sensitive skin. It's a very thick, gentle moisturizer. I feel like this would work for a lot of skin types. This is a morning routine, so I'm using sunscreen. This is the La Roche-Posay Anthelios UV Correct Daily Lotion with SPF 70. And I've tried a lot of sunscreens. This one has to be my favorite. It doesn't give me that white cast and it just soaks into my skin. It feels moisturizing, it doesn't burn, and I love the dewy effect that it gives my skin. And I also put it on my ears and neck. It's not greasy looking, it's just dewy healthy. Like, look at that. So I'm putting in my jewelry and then I also applied deodorant. This is the Dove Beauty Finish Advanced Care. Then a new product that I have been using into the ground is the Sol de Janeiro Beige Floor Elastic Cream. You guys, I have not stopped using this since I got it. A lot of people think that it smells like Baccarat Rouge. I have to kind of agree. It smells like Baccarat Rouge, but more cotton candy-ish. I feel like it would go with a lot of different perfumes. It has like this really sweet, sugary vibe to it. It's a little bit fruity. It's described as a fruity floral with jasmine, pink dragon fruit, vanilla. It smells like strawberry cotton candy and it makes my skin feel so soft. It has plant collagen in there to help firm up the skin. And I've been wearing this and this only and people think that I have perfume on. It's just amazing, 10 out of 10 recommend. Now for the perfume pairings, first is Ellis Brooklyn Sunfruit, which is a new release. It smells like a creamy pink starburst. This has notes of fig, coconut, citrus, vanilla, musk, plum, super pretty. Scream summer. Next is one that I've been loving for a minute and I actually went with this fragrance. It's Mango Skin from Wilhelm. You can use my code for 10% off by the way. But this has notes of pink sugar, mango, black currant. It's absolutely delicious. It gives sipping on a tropical cocktail on your island vacation. Love this and I used it all the time last summer. That's all for this video. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!